Some of my favorite techniques in jiu-jitsu uh, next to wrist locks and arm locks are what we can do with the fingers, finger joint locks and things like that. My okie tonight is going to be Raymond and I'm going to start from a same side wrist grab. Let's follow Raymond. I'm going to start from a same side wrist grab and the first thing I'm going to do is what, what we refer to as just an inverted arm bar. I'm going to swing my arm around this way and I'm going to grab in the same, a similar position that I was doing with the wrist locks, but once I, once I get my thumb into place, I can then twist Raymond's arm and I can invert the arm and I can put pressure on the wrist and fingers by driving towards his center. So I can push like this. And if I wanted to add technique, I could go up to a pressure point up here above the elbow called triple warmer 11 and I could put pressure here downward and I can put pressure on the hand and wrist going upward. Oftentimes in jiu-jitsu with finger locks uh, there's, there's, there's two motions of direction working at the same time. One is moving up while the other is moving down. Now if I want to start from this same position and just immediately go for a finger lock I can simply reach over the grip that he has on me and grab for the little pinky. Once I get the little pinky into position, I'm placing my fingers at the joint of the pinky and I'm creating a base here with my left hand while I put pressure on the pinky with my ring finger and my little finger and I'm going to take my pointer finger and I always point towards the center of his body and I, I drive down with this while I'm pushing up with this and he's tapping. So from that same side wrist grab, if I don't want to go for the inverted arm bar, I can go and I can get that little pinky. Now once I drive up, I could grab more finger joints. I could not only grab the little pinky, but I could grab these three fingers if I wanted to, and I could have all of those appendages in a finger lock. Again, creating the base here, my finger pointing towards his midsection and I crank uh, this direction with my right hand and my left hand is creating the base and driving up here as I drive these joints down to the wrist there. You could also do it that way. Again, you could, uh, you could also create a base. You know, once you get into this position, I could cre create a base immediately here and I could, put, I could put a finger lock on the, on the upper joints of the hand simply by putting pressure here, creating my base, and then driving that back towards his center. You can see he's in pain. And if I want to invert and go to IQ, which is an Aikido position, I could drive this way and I could control him by driving the fingers up in that direction. That's another beautiful technique as I control this arm at a 90 degree angle. If I want to there, I can slide this in to a hammer lock position and uh, I, can, I can get into a hammer lock with him if I want simply by, uh, by driving this hand into the crook of the elbow there and then I can take this hand and grab back on the shoulder controlling his elbow on my chest and, and I, could, I, could, I could foreseeably go into that position from IQ. So if I go here and twist under, I have them there where I need them and then I can determine what I want to do from there. If I want to keep applying pressure to the fingers or move into another technique. Uh, another, another technique that you can do is oftentimes when uh, for some reason uh, people, people will grip like this, you can simply invert this putting his wrist in this position and then slide your fingers around all three joints of his fingers and apply pressure there. These fingers are pushing up while, while my thumb is putting pressure on the back side of his hand and that's a really good finger lock. Simple to get. You just rotate it from here, come underneath here, grab your fingers and he's tapping. 
So those are some pretty simple things you can do with finger locks. I could come from this position. Let's say, let's say I, I'm attacking his pointer finger. I can put my pinky at right at the base of this joint here on the finger, and I can wrap these three. I always keep my, my pointer finger going towards his center, and I create a base here. I can do that with just the pinky, or I could decide to grab more than one finger. I can still do the, the three-finger grab, create a base here, and go with that. Or I could do that to the base of his, the joint on his thumb. I can simply wrap here. And when I wrap with my ring finger at the base of his thumb, I like to put my thumb on top of his thumb as I create the base, and I drive that thumb straight back to his center as I put pressure here, and I put pressure here, and I have a base here, and I can do that. So, you know, that's a thumb lock. Uh, sometimes... Sometimes uh, you, you you know you could take it from from uh, from either hand, but uh, that works good. So you've got the fingers, you've got the thumb, you've got the wrist. You all you always have that inversion. You can take the fingers this way, or you can turn them under, get that IQ position, and snap up there. Finger joints, joint locks are are, are just fantastic. Thank you, Raymond.